All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope y'all doing all right, staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you are baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just hope that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, he protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I just pray that your life just gets better and that the Lord just keeps giving you miracles, wonders, signs, and he just keeps doing amazing, powerful things in your life. And I just hope that you all take it one day at a time. Amen. Let's thank God for waking us up this morning. Let's thank God for giving us another day, another chance to get it right and improve and get better. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. Let us love the Lord our God with all of our mind, heart, and soul. Let us love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Let us obey the the law, statutes, and commandments to keep the commandments like Jesus said. Let us obey the gospel and let us know the Lord better. All right. Yes, yes, y'all. Greetings, family, shalom, body of Christ. What's going on, people? All tribes, all nations, all tongues, all languages, all peoples, all four corners of the earth. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. All faces, all races. God bless you all. Let us gather in fellowship. Amen. I appreciate all of you for listening and supporting. It really means a lot to me, and I pray for you. You pray for me. Amen. Yes, yes. So let us keep doing Father's business. Let us keep doing Father's will until his son comes back. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. So today's message, I just want to just go through this news roundup, you know, my weekly news roundup. I like just going through it. Uh, just to stay aware of what's going on, good, bad, or ugly. Amen. But the best news is the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. That's the best news you could ever hear in your life, the gospel. All right. So, you know, just want to just... Uh, just run through tabloids of what's going on um, locally, regionally, state-wise, uh, nationally, and globally, amen, because there's prophecy being fulfilled all four corners of the earth. Um, there's so much going on. There's so much things that uh, happen all at once, you know, and it's always important to be alert people as watchmen, amen, and not be um, lacking information or lacking uh, what's going on. You know, we have to be always aware of our environments and what's going on and, you know, pray for other people out there, have compassion on other people in their situations and um, be more kind to those who are suffering in different ways. All right. So this is why we have to give out the word. This is why we have to give out the gospel because so much people definitely need it in these end times. Amen. So we're going to run through this news roundup. We'll just skip. We just go through the tabloids. Then we'll close out with a prayer, giving him all the glory, praise and honor. And also just a priestly blessing, you know. So I hope that you all have a blessed weekend. I hope that you all have a blessed Sabbath. I hope that you all can rest, relax, rejuvenate. Thank God for making everything in six days and resting on the seventh day on the Sabbath. I just pray that um, you all end this week with some good news. You know, something good happened in your life. Something amazing happens to you or someone around you. Amen. All right, y'all. So let's go through this news tabloid, these news roundups. Let's see what we have going on here. All right. Congressional Budget Office warns of U.S. debt default in the first two weeks of June. Biden administration faces new legal challenges as Title 42 ends. United pilots to picket airline unions press for higher pay. There's a lot going on at that border with the migrants and everything. A lot of people trying to come to America and things of that nature. So it's a lot going on with so much people just trying to get here, you know, leave their former countries, you know. Because these other countries are a lot more uh, evil and wicked and corrupt than people can imagine. You know, it's a lot more harsh in those different countries. So when people try to escape those places, man, you know, you just got to pray for them. You know what I mean? Because they're coming from a whole different world than this place. You know what I'm saying? So let us see what we have here. CIA had no evidence. Biden laptop was Russian disinformation, says top intel officer during 2020 election. All right, all right, let's see what we have here. Let's see, you know, this is so much. It says, Cleveland EMS worker missing for six days found safe. All right. Daniel Penny, ex-Marine accused of killing homeless man, turns himself in. All right, that was a pretty viral story that happened uh, over the weeks, you know, these past days. So that was a huge discussion on social media. You know what I mean? Let's see what we have here. Let's see. I'm much more scared now. Veterans of 2011 debt ceiling crisis says this year's fight is different. All right. Let's see. Sleeping will be one of the challenges for astronauts on Mars missions. 
Let's see. The real reason stores such as Walmart and Starbucks are closing in big cities. Nordstrom, Whole Foods, Starbucks, CVS. Hmm. These are big chains. These are big companies, too. I'm telling you, artificial intelligence is going to be weird. They're trying to replace humans and people. They're just going to put robots in these places. You know what I mean? Because a robot ain't going to complain about they pay. <laughs> a robot ain't going to show up late, right? Or a robot just going to sit in there, get turned on and turned off and keep it moving. So these companies, they're thinking on a bigger scale when it comes to that. That's what makes artificial intelligence so uh, weird and evil, you know? Let's see what we have here. Astronomers spot largest cosmic explosion ever witnessed. Pope Francis warns pets must not replace children in Italy. Imran Khan to be released from custody in Pakistan court rules. Ukraine claims gains in Bakhmut after Bakhmut after Russia denials. California's ghost lake reappears after sudden water. Let's see what we have going on here. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here are the top four areas of depth cell and compromise. The GOP is eyeing. All right. Permitting reform, work requirements, spending caps, and rescind unspent COVID funds. Mm, that's interesting. Frustration at CNN boils over with Trump town hall interview. And Trump has called America a third world country. You know, so that's pretty crazy. Let's see what we have here. Russia is floating a plan to build a village for conservative Americans who want to move to a Christian country and are tired of liberal ideology in the U.S. Clarence Thomas, who accepted lavish gifts from a billionaire, argued that a law prohibiting taking bribes is too vague to be fairly enforced. Communities torn as Ukraine turns its back on Moscow-linked church. G7 finance heads face tricky trade-off in debating steps to counter China. Mm, let's see what we have here. DeSantis team to Trump. Wait and see. As the border heats up, Dems, Democrats fracture over a migration solution. Both Biden and Trump sent troops to the border. That's where the similarities end. Banning gun sales to young American adults under 21 is unconstitutional, a judge rules. Adidas finally has a plan for a stockpile of Yeezy shoes. Amer um, Alabama Republican blasts an effort to rid the military of white nationalists. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, so um, just a lot going on, you know, just a lot going on. So always got to be aware. All right, let us not be in worry or anxious or being in fear or anxiety. Let us trust in the Lord through everything going on. Amen. Let us keep our eyes on the prize and focus on the Lord, but let us not be absent-minded, you know? All right. Warren Buffett gets gloomy. America's incredible period is coming to an end. Here's what nervous investors can do right now. Let's see what we have here. British people are dying in their tens of thousands, and we don't really have any idea why. A lot going on in England. You know, the economy's hitting hard over there. A lot of homeless rate increased heavily over there. Let's see. A California city is trying to block a Christian group from feeding homeless people. Wow. Ain't that something? Mm -mm. China's mountain such a strong attack on the dollar's dominance that is paying for almost all of its Russian oil imports in the yuan. U.S. money supply is doing something truly historic, and it may foreshadow a big move for the stock market. Biden to pay Americans to ditch gas stoves, Energy Department says. Let's see what we have here. Prime age workers are flooding back into the workforce. Older workers are staying home. High percentages of black Hispanic Americans worried about tainted water. Let's see. War has been unleashed. Putin claims civilization at turning point in first speech at missiles target Kyiv. Kyiv. Let's see what we have here. It's also election time around this time period with Jacksonville, the city of Jacksonville. As inflation keeps cooling, economists says wages likely hurdle for a 2% target. 
Let's see what we have here. AI cameras are being set up on highways to catch drivers who throw trash out of their car windows. Wow. Ain't that some Medicaid for undocumented immigrants? It's Democrats who aren't sure. Let's see what we have here. Federal judge rules adults ages 18 through 20 cannot be blocked from purchasing handguns. Home prices plummet across the U.S. as exodus continues from West Coast. And you keep seeing these news stories about mass shootings and these shootings, you know what I mean, all over America. But also, you know, you even have some of these, our young, our youth, you know, some of these young black teens, you know, really get caught up in some mess out here in the streets, man. It's really crazy out here. A lot of these younger uh, teenagers are committing more crimes and more murders than ever, man. It's really uh, sick and crazy out here, you know. These young people, they really got a lot of demonic activity going on among them, man. We got to really reach out to these these babies, these children, man. And we really got to reach out to them, man, you know, because they're not being raised right in the home. You know, they don't got no father in the house or anything like that. So uh, these children run wild out here, man, you know. Let's see what we have here. Marco Guru, the U.S. government may restrict your right to pull money out of banks as panic escalates. Here's what he likes for protection. White House to mark infrastructure week 18 months after signing of bipartisan law. Let's see what we have here. Flight attendant warns passengers to never wear shorts when in a plane. Let's see. The staggering number of adults turning to petty theft amid rising food prices. Let's see what we have here. Eighty-seven percent of Americans who pray say their their prayers were answered in the last year's study shows. Oh, that's awesome. It's good to hear that. Some good news. Prayers are being answered. Amen. Yes, yes. The Lord still answers his prayers. He still hears his people. The Lord changed not. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. So I'm going to end the news roundup with that news topic right there. You know, 87% of Americans say their answers, their prayers have been answered. I'm going to end it there. Because the news overall can always be depressing, negative, and sad. But I like hearing believers' news, news dealing with faith as well. Because uh, it's beautiful to see all four corners of the earth still calling out on the Lord, the name of the Lord. People still fighting a good fight of faith. People still trusting in um, his son, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people are straying away from the faith and they're into the whole new age thing. They're whole into the Babylonian stuff and all types of different gods and worships. But we still worship the one true creator. Amen. We still worship the one that still made the, made heaven and earth. Amen. We still serve the one who made his son, his only begotten son, die for our sins. Amen. So it's good to see that. It said 87% have got their prayers answered. So it's just a little survey, what have you. So, you know, most of the cases where people don't get their prayers answers, maybe because it's not Father's will for that person, or maybe because um, the person's probably not aligned with what they're asking for, or the part, that person's probably praying with no good intentions or selfish ambitions, you know what I'm saying? So the, the type of prayers you pray are very important. It does matter to God, all right? It does matter, you know what I'm saying? God cares about what's on our mind, heart, and soul, but most of all, he cares about our intentions. You get what I'm saying? How it's going to also help and benefit other people. You know, so the type of prayers you, you, you say out there matters. Amen. All right, y'all. So there you have it. That is a news roundup for this week. All right. All right, man. Got to pray for those who are dealing with uh, leaving, America, leaving a different country, come to America. You know, pray for those dealing with stuff at the border. A lot going on. Pray for those who are incarcerated right now. Pray for those who are in prison. Pray for those who are um, dealing with uh, poverty or homelessness or what have you. Pray for everybody, man. You know, people out there going through different stuff that we can't even imagine. So we got to pray us up, pray us up. Amen. All right. So what I love to do as I close out is give all the glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. All right, y'all. So here we go. He is the hope for humanity. Amen. He is the Adam, the second Adam, the last Adam. He is the advocate. He is the almighty, true and living God. He is the Alpha and Omega. Amen. 
He is the apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atoner sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessing only potent, the blessing only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father, the faith of true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, the firstborn from the dead, firstborn of all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shalom, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, King Eternal, the King of Israel. He is the King of Kings. Amen. He is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, King of Saints, King of the Ages, King of the Jews, the King, the Lamb, the Lamb of God, the Lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the light of the world, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord, Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, 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 Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, the consuming fire, the father of lights, the father of the fatherless, the father of the widows, the sufficient one, the sustainer, the God of heaven and earth, the name above all names. Yes, nothing's too hard for the Lord. Yes, yes, his son was the carpenter could fix all things. Amen. Yes, yes, his son is the great physician. Healing belongs to the Lord. Victory belongs to the Lord. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. Interpretation belongs to the Lord. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. Yes, the Elohim. Yes. Heavenly Father, yes, he is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene. Yes, yes. The offspring of David, Yehosha, the only begotten son of God, Yahawashai, our great God and Savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness. Our sacrifice to pass over lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection of life, the resurrector. Yes, the revelation, the revelator, the, re the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the rule of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of David, the son of Abraham, the son of God. Son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. Yes, he is the truth. He is the way. Amen. He is the way, truth, the life, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of Yah, the word of Yahuwah, the word of Elohim, the word of Yehoshua, the word of Yahawashai, the word of Yeshua, Hamashiach. Yes, the word of life. Yes, he is the word. Amen. We touch and agree. We serve an awesome creator. And his son is, is so amazing for dying for our sins. His son is just awesome. Amen. Yes, because he is the seed of Abraham, promise, the seed of Adam, humanity, the seed of David, kingship, seed of God, deity, seed of Jacob, nationality, seed of Judah, tribe, seed of Shem, race, seed of woman, prophecy. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. And the authority and the power and name of Jesus Christ, you are healed, renewed, restored, redeemed, forgiven, loved, embraced, renewed, transformed. Yes, born again, repentance, baptism, new creature in Christ, new beginnings, new footsteps, new hands to prosper, new life, new mind, new heart, new soul, new eyes, get up and walk, new feet. You can rejoice and praise the Lord. You can tell everybody what God did for you. Amen. You can tell everybody what God got you through. Amen. Yes, yes, you have a testimony. You have multiple testimonies. Hey, Amen. You could boast in the Lord so much about who he is and what he did for you and what he done brought you through. There's unlimited testimonies. Hey, Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. So there you have it. All right. That is the message for today. That's just a news roundup of what's just going on on an earthly, materialistic, carnal sense. But spiritually, it's a prophetic thing going on as well. Okay. So most of the prophecy that the forefathers and prophets prophesied, most of it dealt with um, judgment, uh, violence, 
things to come in the end times, uh, the word being fulfilled, uh, prophecy fulfilling, you know, all the stuff going on in the world, the condition of people, how people act, how people treat each other. Um, but also as far as the prophecy concerning God's people, it's about re- being restored, being gathered again, being upright, everlasting generation. So that's the beauty of the gospel and the good news of the gospel of Christ and also the things that the forefathers have prophesied about. And it goes hand in hand. And how the good, bad, and ugly of it is, of course, what you see today, all the violence, the days of Noah, the killing, the condition of people, and the perilous times of how people will be more hateful and arrogant and lovers of themselves. You know, you see the perilous times in it. And then also um, the things that Jeremiah prophesied about, the things Isaiah prophesied about, Concerning the way people are going to be in latter times, the things David prophesies about, you're seeing that clear as day. Amen. So um, all types of news is important because it all goes hand in hand. And we just got to keep our eyes on the Lord. We have to, uh, you know, keep our eyes on the prize. Amen. And we have to stay on that narrow path and follow that good news of the gospel. All right. Because that is not fake news. That's the realest news you're going to ever hear in your life. The gospel of his son. That's the realest news you go ever hear. Amen. Yes, you cannot add or take away from the word the word of the God, the word of God, the word of the Lord. Amen. You can't add or take away from it. So let us keep being strong and firm. Let us be patient. Let us do this with a merry heart and joy. Amen. Let us not go through the motions and just be all caught up in mood swings in the flesh. Let us be upright people, joyful, merry hearted people of Christ. Amen. All right, y'all be strong and firm in these tight in these days. Amen. I pray to God that whoever is listening to this message, I pray that you repent and get baptized, start your life well for the most high. I pray that you have new beginnings and you keep changing and improving and growing and developing to who God wants you to be. I pray that you keep becoming more refined and more purified. Amen. I just pray that the Lord just pour out his blessings all over you and that he keeps on protecting you, looking out for you. He keeps doing those miracles and wonders for you. He keeps working in mysterious ways for all of us. Amen. Yes, yes, the Lord changed not. So there you have it, all right? Just want to give you all this priestly blessing. And then we out. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Shalom. I'm Jarvis Case. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.